Now we saw that, we saw, we, we found out the field by the first principle method. That was by taking a ring first, extending it to a disc and then making the radius of the disc infinite. Now you must have seen, it took us quite, quite, it took us quite, quite an effort to, to do that and come up with the final result, right? Let us try to do the same thing by using Gauss's law. So, so let us say, this is the sheet, I'm, I'm drawing it, it curved and jagged to show that it does not end here, right? It does not end here and it extends in all the directions up to infinity. <clears throat> and somehow I take my x axis to be this and my x axis is what? It is perpendicular to the plane, okay? It is perpendicular to the plane while the y axis is while the y axis is lies lies in the plane right x y so that z axis is is something like that okay hold on hold on it's not straight so z axis is like that Hope you get the point, it's a 3D kind of thing. X is pointing like this, okay? X is pointing like this. We have the, we have the, the plane as this, okay? X axis is this, X axis is this, okay? X axis is this, and, and Y axis lies like this, okay? So Y axis is this, and Z is perpendicular to this. So Y and Z lie in the plane perpendicular to each other, and X points out. Okay, x points out, thank you, <clears throat> and x points out. So, so x is like this, y is like this, and z is like this, okay? Do we get the point? It is, it is like this, fine? And this is, the, this is the sheet we are talking about. This is an infinite sheet that, that extends in all directions till infinity, fine? Now, <clears throat> now, let us try to understand at any point here okay i am some distance from that infinite from that infinite plane okay i am some distance from the infinite plane now what should be the direction of the field i say if i say it it points downward then the thing is what is there downward that has made it tilt downward. Why? Because for a person who is standing here, say I am standing here, and I see there is downward, th th this is pointing downward, it means there must be something special in the downward that I will not be able to distinguish from, from other sides, that I should be able to distinguish from the other sides, right? What is there? See, this is an infinite plane, so what is there? You look in any direction you find plane 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 so all the sides are absolutely symmetrical okay if they are symmetrical why will the field point downward there is no condition downward which is which is peculiar which is unique to the downward direction Whatever is there downward, downward is all plane, plane, plane till infinity. The same thing is there upward. So why not upward then? Or why not left? Or why not right? So the field will be absolutely neutral from all sides and it will point perpendicularly away from the infinite sheet. Get the point? Or you can argue it like this, that due to a ring, the field is 
is perpendicularly perpendicularly outward so due to a disk which is made up of so many rings it will be perpendicularly outward and due to the infinite sheet which is nothing but a disk of infinite radius it will be outward okay it will be outward so any of the of the two logics so so i say the field due to a ring is perpendicular to the plane of the ring the field due to a disk is also perpendicular to the plane of the disk since the disk is made up of infinite number of thin rings okay infinite number of thin rings correct an infinite plane sheet is a disk of infinite radius <clears throat> okay it is a disk of infinite radius hence its field is perpendicular to the plane of the sheet it will be an outward normal if the sheet is positively charged it will be in the direction of it will be it will be wait directed towards outward normal okay it will be directed towards outward normal if the sheet is positively charged and charged and towards the inward normal if the sheet is negatively charged okay if the sheet is negatively charged now currently we consider it to be to be positively charged currently it is positively charged right so it will be an outward normal okay and if the distance from the if the distance from the sheet is the same the magnitude of the field will be the same no at the same distance 
the magnitude has to be the same. Why? Because nothing changes. So, so nothing changes if I move anywhere at a particular distance from the sheet. So it has a it has a planar symmetry. The sh the field has a the, the electric field has a planar symmetry because <coughs> it has a planar symmetry because it has a planar symmetry because because nothing changes if we shift the point if we shift the point keeping it this keeping its distance from the sheet constant. Why do I say so? I am at a particular distance. If someone shifts me to the left, okay, if someone shifts me to the left, what happens? Just try to think. If someone shifts me to the left, will I be able to understand just by looking at the sheet that I have been shifted? No. Why? Because I see the vast expanse of the sheet everywhere and I find my distance has not changed. So if you have nothing to refer to in the background, you just won't be able to know that you have been shifted. Okay? And, and so will be the case if, you, if, if I shift you at the same distance anywhere. So if I shift you in a plane for parallel to the sheet, you'll never know that you have been shifted. Okay? So, so I keep a distance the same parallel to that infinite sheet I erect another plane and I shift you anywhere in that plane you will not know that you have been shifted so this has a planar symmetry do you understand that so it has a planar symmetry fine now how do I take the how do I take the Gaussian surface okay how do I take the Gaussian surface so it has a planar symmetry so I take my Gaussian surface as, as, as a box, okay, as a, as a rectangular box. Now I'd like to tell you at this stage that it is not necessary that your box is rectangular, it could also be circular, it could also be circular. But what is to be kept in mind is that this, what is to be kept in mind is that, see, this lies on the, on the sheet, okay, this face is parallel to this. So that, so what am I, what am I trying to do? I am trying to, I am trying to keep a face where on which if I move my E remains a constant and the face, the side, the lateral faces that I have there the E dot ds will be 0 because I am keeping it absolutely perpendicular to the plane so that means parallel to the field so nothing comes out of that okay so try to think before making the Gaussian surface, try to think, what am I trying to do? I have to find out the total flux. In what way do I draw my Gaussian surface that the total flux can be easily formed? And this is the way. Because the lateral surfaces I have, uh, I have finished and on the plane surface, here, here, that I have not drawn yet, here, when I come here, what will happen? So,
understand do you get that okay we extend it the same distance behind it as i have gone ahead okay as i have gone ahead so what happens is i take it behind you know this will be this i am making dotted because why am i making dotted because this has this is behind the this is behind the sheet correct so it is something like that and something like this and something like this and this becomes dotted is it not here this goes dotted this goes dotted this is dotted because this is hidden this also becomes dotted hope it is visible to you and do you understand the 3d nature of it do we understand the 3d nature of it okay fine okay now on this face i have my i have my i have my field pointing perpendicular to this is it not and they'll have the same magnitude no so the field is like that everywhere on this surface correct everywhere on the surface the field is like that okay and similarly here okay and the magnitude of the field is the same okay the magnitude of the field is the same as long as the distance from the plane remains a constant remains a constant understand as long as it remains a constant the magnitude remains the same so if this is e this is also e why because i have taken these distances as equal okay i have taken these distances 